In this video, you will see how layers can be used to add a measure of security to your document. Layers can be locked and password protected to prevent unauthorized changes. Additionally, a layer with a bounding rectangle can be used to limit the editable area of the template. Here is a sample document that will be used in this example. You can see there are two layers, an uneditable layer that is locked and an editable layer that is unlocked. Unlocking a layer is as simple as clicking on the red locked icon in the toolbar, right? That is, if it doesn't have a password. If you are using the sample document, the password is test in all lowercase letters. There, now the layer is unlocked and can be edited. Let's take a look at how the document password was set up. Open the file menu and select bartender document password. You will notice you are prompted again for the password. When scrolling through the list of protected actions, you will see that the Modify Layers action has been checked. That means whenever someone wants to make a change to a layer, whether it is opening the properties, locking or unlocking the layer, or even changing its visibility, the password will have to be entered to proceed. Change the password to Sample, all lowercase letters. Once you have entered the new password and confirmed it, you have the option of providing a password hint. Then, select the actions you want to be password protected in the protected actions list. It is important to remember your password because if you forget it, there is no way to recover it and you will have to recreate your document. Remember how you were prompted for the password twice while attempting to make changes to this document? You can choose to remember document password until close, so you only need to enter the password once while editing the document. Each time the document is closed and reopened for editing, the password will need to be entered. Click OK to save your changes. Now close the bartender document to see the new password in action. Reopen the document and try to lock the layer. You will be prompted to enter your new password. Since we chose to remember document password until close, we won't need to re-enter the password until we close and reopen the document. Another security feature that you can use in your document is a bounding rectangle. A bounding rectangle limits the amount of printable area on a template. Only objects placed inside the bounding rectangle will print. Open the properties of the editable layer and you will see that this layer has the bounding rectangle option already selected. The position of the rectangle on the layer is zero inches from the left side of the document. Or in other words, it starts at the left edge of the document and the top of the bounding box is 2.1 inches from the top of the document. The width and height are set to 3.998 inches and 1.8 inches respectively. When you close the layer properties, you can see the bounding rectangle displayed on the template with dotted red lines. Objects placed outside of the bounding rectangle are displayed as transparent red. If you place the barcode partially inside the bounding rectangle and do a print preview, you see that only the human readable text prints while the barcode lines are cut off. The bounding rectangle limits the amount of editable area on the template and can be used in conjunction with using a document password and locking layers to enhance the security of your bartender document. To quickly recap, in this video, you learned how to set a document password to protect the layers of your document from being modified. You also learned how to limit the editable area of a template by utilizing a bounding rectangle. For more examples, you can check out support.sigalscientific.com. Thank you for watching.